Uh, I'd like to welcome you to this year's uh, NICU fundraiser uh, for Sam's NICU at Morristown Medical Center. Doris, Steve, and uh, I, together with all my colleagues in neonatology, have been working together for years to create what has become the preeminent uh, newborn intensive care unit uh, in New Jersey. I must tell you, I've been, I've been doing neonatology for 30 years now, and I am continuously amazed by the miracles that occur in that in Sam's NICU, day in and day out. And, and while I'd like to think a good, a good part of it has to do with the care that the nurses and the physicians provide, I think so much of it has to do with the extraordinary resilience of babies, the will that they manifest from the very first day to, to recover, to get better, and to go on to live a long and healthy life. A, a, a visit to Sam's NICU would be an eye-opener for just about everybody. It, it, uh, it looks like Grand Central Station to everybody but the babies. The rooms where the babies are cared for are just uh, uh, cocooned-like in, in the atmosphere and in the quiet. The hallways are bustling with nurses and respiratory therapists and doctors and social workers and care managers and feeding specialists and physical therapists and occupational therapists. There are literally hundreds of people who help us care for babies in the NICU on a daily basis. With help from Sam's Fund this year we purchased a sophisticated device that allows us to measure how babies are growing. This device, this Peapod, allows us to actually measure as babies are gaining weight whether the weight that the baby is gaining is appropriate, that is whether he's gaining muscle, bone, fat, skin, whether the baby is growing like the infant would have grown had he been fortunate enough to remain in utero. And we're beginning the use of this device to help us tailor nutrition for babies to allow them to grow in the optimal way and thereby improve their long-term functioning and outcome. This is the Peapod device that allows us to measure the body composition of, of growing infants. Uh, it's a highly sensitive device that measures the weight precisely to the nearest gram, which is one thirtieth uh, of an ounce. And in addition to weighing uh, the baby precisely, uh, it measures the volume of the baby, that is, how big the baby is in length and in volume, and on the basis of the weight and the volume of the infant, the machine is able to calculate the water weight, water composition, the fat composition, and by extension, the other elements of body composition. Our goal is to get babies to grow in a way that resembles the way they would have been growing had they, had, had they been able to stay inside the, uh, uh, the uterus, inside the womb. The normal period of gestation is, is 40 weeks. Uh, the babies we care for in Sam's NICU uh, come to us from 23 weeks gestation all the way to 40 weeks. What's important from our standpoint and from the baby's standpoint is very, very important things are happening in the second half and especially the third trimester of pregnancy. And when a baby is has to be born, uh, it falls on us physicians, the neonatologists, and on the nurses to attempt to replicate, to duplicate what the baby would have received had the gestation continued. This Peapod device is one of those very crucial elements in helping us decide exactly how to care for babies so that they get through the first two or three months of life outside the uterus in a manner that allows them to thrive and grow as they were supposed to be growing uh, inside the womb. Essentially, the birth of neonatology occurred in the 1960s. Uh, John Kennedy and Jackie had a baby at uh, 34 weeks gestation, just six weeks early. And that baby was, um, uh, by, by our standards today, almost mature. Unfortunately, that infant's lungs were not fully developed, and that infant uh, died at, at 
two days of age as a result of respiratory insufficiency and lung failure. With that event, uh, the focus of research in pediatrics shifted very quickly to premature infant lung development. And that's how neonatology as a specialty, as, an, as a clinical discipline, was born. So over the past 50 years, having started uh, at that time with virtually no ability to intervene at all in the care of sick infants, we've evolved to the point now where, where um, medications, technologies, science uh, is uniquely tailored to the needs of premature babies, where babies can survive today who couldn't have had a chance in a thousand to survive 15 years ago. But I must tell you that more important than survival from our standpoint is the quality of the survival, that is the, the likelihood that babies can get through the first month or two or three of life without sustaining complications that will damage them and injure them and make their lives uh, so difficult uh, um, uh, after, they, uh, after they leave the NICU. To help babies, to help families, we've created a NICU that uh, uh, is welcoming to parents and families 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We've introduced new technologies Specifically this past year, we've uh, introduced several uh, very important technologies. One, to help babies breathe more effectively, babies whose lungs are so weak that they can't breathe uh, independently, babies who require assistance from a respirator, but at the same time are, are so weak that they can't even trigger the respirator to breathe. We've introduced the technology this year that allows us to sense when a baby is beginning to breathe as the baby's diaphragm is beginning to con contract so that the ventilator, the, the mechanical respirator, can help the baby breathe more effectively together with the machine. It's made an enormous difference in the comfort of uh, babies who are very sick because of immaturity of their lungs, and it's allowed us to actually get babies off mechanical ventilation faster than they used to be. Uh, we, we treat uh, more than 500 babies a year in Sam's NICU. These are babies who come from all over northern New Jersey, <clears throat> eastern Pennsylvania, southern New York State. Uh, we treat babies whose mothers are referred in to us from a very large area, either because the mothers themselves are sick and require intensive care, <clears throat> excuse me, or, or because they're going to be delivering uh, babies with serious problems that are going to require care after, uh, after delivery. The, the spectrum of, of uh, babies we care for uh, in the NICU is much broader than you might think. Yes, as you might expect, there are babies who, who uh, are born extremely prematurely with uh, uh, problems related to the fact that they didn't complete the last four months of the pregnancy. Babies who weigh 11, 12, 13 ounces at birth. And we've had such babies, quite a few of them this year, and uh, several of them have uh, done remarkably well. We've seen babies with a, a, a variety of very serious congenital abnormalities that require surgery immediately at birth or in the days immediately following delivery. There were almost 4,200 babies born at Morristown Medical Center last year. Um, and of those, because of the community that, that we're in, and because of the availability of some of the finest infertility specialists uh, in the country, in fact, in the world, we've seen at, at Sam's NICU uh, 175 sets of twins and 10 sets of triplets. We've begun the, uh, the development of a program called the Fetal Diagnostic and Treatment Center, which is a, uh, a comprehensive, coordinated program to care for families who are carrying developing fetuses with serious medical or surgical problems. It allows us to intervene even before the baby is born to optimize the outcome. 
we've, we've actually seen a dramatic improvement in uh, both survival rates <clears throat> of, of premature babies and babies with a variety of other problems and as gratifying or even more gratifying we've seen uh, a marked decrease in the incidence of complications associated with problems over the long term. All, all of the proceeds from, uh, from this event go directly to the NICU so we can help babies and their families and for that we are immensely grateful to each and every one of you. Thank you.